L'Hopital's rule works so great that it seems to give you all the limits you want to compute. And that seems to be too good to be true, and indeed, I do have to disappoint you. First of all, L'Hopital's rule is not always applicable, and even in the cases where it is applicable, the rule may fail to work. We will see that in some examples in, the, of in this video. Will we will then be completely lost on those limits. Well, no, our other limit rules will come to rescue us. So, first of all, we have uh, x over squared of x squared plus 1. Of the type infinity of infinity, uh, if x goes to infinity, so we can apply slope to those rule. So, let's do it. What happens then? Well, derivative of the numerator, that's easy, it's just a 1. Derivative of the denominator gives some gives some rubbish, so if the uh, square root of x squared plus 1 gives a 1 half x squared plus 1 to the power minus 1 half times 10 root 2x, so 2x 1 half rubbish to the power minus 1 half, simplify a bit, uh, 2x times 1 half equals an x, and the rubbish to the power minus 1 half goes to the numerator, and we have this limit over here. And again we have infinity over infinity, well, no problem. Just try to apply L'Hopital's rule again. So we get a 1 now in the denominator and differentiate the numerator. We get rubbish to the power 1 half, 1 half times the rubbish to the power minus 1 half times general 2x. And there we are. Uh, and, uh, 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 1 half is missing. Uh, because if you uh, simplify then, you get x over square root of x squared plus 1. And again, infinity over infinity. So, shall we try to apply L'Hopital's rule again? Well, just a minute. What we got now is the same as with what we started. So, well, we can apply L'Hopital's rule again and again, but we will only get our same limit again, again, and again. So that means that what we did not, what not, what we did is not wrong. We get the same limit back, so we get limit equals limit. So that's fine. But that doesn't help us at all, so we have to think of something different. So, what can we do? Well, we can divide by the highest power. So, we divide uh, or we multiply by 1 over x numerator and denominator. So, we get a 1 in the numerator here and a 1 over x in the denominator over there. And then uh, we want to get the 1 over x inside of the square root. So, 1 over x is equals the square root of 1 over x squared, like that. Because x goes to infinity, so everything is positive, so that is fine. We can turn it into one square root, so take the square root of 1 over x squared times x squared plus 1. And then we can take the uh, x squared even further in, we get a 1 plus 1 over x squared. And then we have uh, 1 in the numerator, and the denominator in the limit equals 1 as well. So we can use quotient rule, etc. So we get a 1 over 1 equals 1 in our limit. So even though L'Hopital does not work, does not give, uh, give us an answer, we, uh, we can still compute the limit using all our other rules, power law, root law, uh, quotient law, etc. Second example is a bit trickier even. We have a x squared times sine of 1 over x divided by sine x. So what can we do? Well, this uh, denominator sine x, if x goes to 0, goes to 0. So over 0. The numerator x squared times sine 1 over x can be squeezed between minus x squared and x squared for x to 0 goes to 0. So we have 0 over 0. So we can try to use L'Hopital's rule, a cosine of x and the denominator, that derivative is easy. And the numerator we have to use a product rule, 2x times the sine of 1 over x plus x squared times derivative of the sine becomes a cosine times chain factor minus 1 over x squared. And then we uh, simplify a bit. The x squared cancels out at minus 1 over x squared. So what uh, we, we get is a uh, one term over here and another term for x going to 0. So this term, well, is fine. But the uh, 1 over cosine x over here is fine, it's just 1. But the cosine of 1 over x is basically sometimes like the cosine of infinity, keeps oscillating. So this limit doesn't seem to exist. Does it? We can also try to compute it in another way. x to 0, 
we can split our limit into parts. We gave one x to the uh, 1 over sine x and one other x to the sine of 1 over x. So we split the x squared into x's. And the nice part is that this limit exists and this limit exists. So we can use the product rule. Uh, you compute it through separate limits. Uh, the x over sine x equals 1 over the sine x over x. Sine x over x for x over 0 equals 1. So 1 over 1 equals 1. And the other one, x times sine 1 over x. Sine of 1 over x is bounded between minus 1 and 1. So we can squeeze this one. It's between minus x and x. x over 0. 0 smaller equal than sin x sine 1 over x smaller equal than 0 in the limit. So we get a 0 for that limit. So we get a 1 times 0 equals 0. So what's the correct answer? Here we have a zero using one type of rules, and here using L'Hopital's rule we have does not exist. So which of the two is correct? Well, now we have to be really careful. When can you apply L'Hopital's rule? Well, only if the limit exists. Uh, if the uh, here this numerator over here is not defined at x equals zero and it's a uh, uh, L'Hopital uh, can be applied if you have f of a divided by g of a where f of a and equals zero however over here the f of zero does not exist it means that in this case you cannot apply L'Hopital's rule and that is why this reasoning here is wrong so it does not exist is wrong and the reasoning over here is correct so this limit is in fact zero so there's another example where you see that you have to be really careful when applying the L'Hopital's rule. If it works, it works like a charm, but you really need to know when it works, when you can apply it.